Hey, Kurt Pappy coming to you with another iMovie tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at keyboard shortcuts. I've been making videos with iMovie now for five years and I've produced over 100 videos that I've published on YouTube. And I've learned the hard way about how to save time um, by using iMovie as, as effectively as possible and as efficiently as possible. Today I'm going to show you some keyboard shortcut combinations that I think are real time savers. Most of what you do when you're editing videos is trimming your various clips or your audio. And trimming involves moving the cursor around. So we'll look at the arrow keys, the left and right arrows that move one frame at a time, the up and down arrows that move left and right on the timeline to the next logical boundary. So those are the moving functions. Next, we'll look at the zooming functions, Command plus and Command minus, which allow us to very quickly zoom into the timeline to look at the details that we need for making editing decisions. Then we've got two shortcut keys that actually do the trimming of clips. The option slash trims the nearest edge of the selected entity to the playhead and the command B splits or breaks the clip at the playhead position. All right, let's take a look and see how these work. What we want to do first here is uh, look at how we use the arrow keys. So uh, what we're going to do is this clip right here has a transition where the camera lens was zoomed to telephoto and to avoid the distraction, we want to cut the clip, we want to trim it to right after the telephoto zoom is done. So we can do that by using the right arrow and left arrow here to find the first frame that transitioned to the telephoto lens on my phone. So there we are. And now we have the three clips here that we want to trim. So all we have to do is option slash. And it's hard to tell, but all three of these clips were trimmed. You can see that the title is shorter, um, this overlay is shorter, and the main clip is shorter. And if we go to the beginning of this clip by doing an up arrow and pressing the space bar, we can see that there's no zoom in left anymore. The next thing we're going to do is uh, trim an audio clip. Uh, I use these keyboard shortcuts a lot for trimming audio. So first we're going to zoom in by hitting command plus a couple times so we can see exactly where we want to trim this audio clip. And let's trim it right here. So Command B trims the clip. And now we'll get rid of the gap here between the two passages and the audio recording. The way these come up is uh, I record my voiceovers uh, in their entirety and then I break them into little pieces and paste them into the video where it's appropriate. So now I've got my clip broken right here. So now I go to where my audio is going to start and option slash trims that right up. And now I can move this around to start wherever I want to. So now we've seen right arrow, left arrow, up arrow, and the up arrow goes to the next boundary, not necessarily of the clip that's selected, but any of the entities that are in the timeline. So this allows you to very quickly go to the next logical boundary by pressing up arrow and down arrow uh, to get to the end or beginning of whatever section that you want to work with. Next, let's have a look at some shortcut keys that you should be familiar with from your other applications. These include the copy, cut, paste, delete, and undo, and redo. And they have some very unique capabilities in iMovie that allow us to duplicate things that are on the timeline to maintain desirable attributes like 
font or color, uh, etc. First trick I'm going to show you is how to use copy and paste to duplicate formatted titles. Okay, let's format up a title and see how this works. First we drag the title down onto the timeline. So now we have our our subtitle, our standard lower third down there. We'll change the font, make, make it a little bit bigger, 80 point, bold outline, which I like to do so it always shows up against any kind of background. Change it to a red color. All right, there we have our red lower third and we're gonna get rid of the subtitle. We can always add that back in later if it's needed. But normally I just use a one line uh, lower third. Okay, now let's go ahead and cut and paste a few copies of this around where we think we might have titles later on. So now we've got four additional copies that look just like the original. And now we can go in and type in the real text on each of these and they will all be formatted absolutely identically. The delete key works on all of the elements in the timeline, titles, overlays, audio tracks, clips, and Command Z undoes the deletion or restores what was deleted. One thing you have to be careful with is deleting a clip gets rid of everything on top of it. You probably already know that the space bar starts and stops playback from the current playhead position. But what you may not know is the slash key is extraordinarily useful in that it begins play from the beginning of whatever element is selected and then repeats. I find this extraordinarily useful for making sure I have a title or overlay or audio track positioned properly. Okay, let's see how this works. Um, in this particular clip, I have a little bit of sound here where I it, am guys. You're, you're in the encouraging on the guys now. crossing the stream there. And what I want to do is put a little title directly over that. So let's go to our titles and bring down our lower third. And let's put in our text. Keep going. And now I want to make sure that that overlaps the way I want to uh, with the text. So I can select that text and then hit the slash key and now it, it You're in the plays that particular now. clip um, you got it, guys. and it actually You're in allows me to hear now. how that sounds and what the title looks like as you it, it uh, pops You're up the at the same time. So this is pretty helpful in making sure when you add a new element that has some it, duration guys. to You're it, whether it's a title or now. an overlay or another audio clip, that it's actually synchronized with what you you're got looking it, guys. for. You're in the easy spot now. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please click like or subscribe down below or leave me a comment. I try to get back to comments uh, as quickly as soon as possible. I love to hear from you about what you thought of the video and what in particular you found useful or unuseful about it. Thanks a lot.